How do you know if you're meant to share your story, whether through a book, on stage, in a podcast? What if you struggle with feeling worthy or maybe you have thoughts like, nobody cares about my story, or perhaps you're worried about what other people will think, maybe afraid of hurting loved ones by sharing your story. But you have this kind of itch, a burning desire, maybe even a voice that speaks in your head saying, you have to share. This has been the case for me. I've gone through great challenges in this life, from growing up in a spiritual cult to experiencing domestic violence and even struggling through addiction and self-harm. Through it all, I have consciously made the decision to keep going and to work on myself and to heal because I know that there was something worth living for. I always had a feeling inside that I wanted to know what tomorrow would bring. And in fact, from a very young age, I wanted to inspire other people. I always saw myself as someone who would be leading retreats or workshops or programs. I especially wanted to teach my peers how to connect to higher states of consciousness without drugs and alcohol. And of course, life took me as life does and got really lifey. I had many heartbreaks, many setbacks. I even had my own time where I used drugs and alcohol to numb out my true gifts and the experience of life. And as I've come out onto the other side, I have returned to that original inspiration. It's expanded, though, through my own life journey. And now it's all about teaching other women who have gone through great adversity that there is power in their pain, that they can alchemize their struggle and turn it into a story that can inspire others. So back to my original question, How do you know if you're meant to speak on stage, write a book, have a podcast, do something where you're hosting workshops or retreats, you're sharing your story, you're sharing your wisdom? And I would say you already know. If it's in your heart as a desire, as an inkling, if you're listening to this show, you already know. And now it's just a matter of you stepping into the journey saying yes, letting your story unfold and being brave enough to open your heart and your mouth and to share. This is one of the reasons that I've created the 21-day transformation journey with Blue Lotus. I have used essential oils and the power of plant spirit medicine to help to guide me on my journey. And I want to share that with you. Blue Lotus is a plant that has been used since ancient times in spiritual practices and meditations, and it's known to have the power when used as a daily anointing practice along with meditation and intention, it is known to awaken you to your divine purpose. So we're going to explore this together. We're going to engage in a 21-day program together where we will anoint ourselves daily We will set that intention for desiring an awakening to our divine purpose. We will bring in a meditation practice, a journaling practice, and we'll do it together as a community so that we can support one another as we begin to open and grow and expand and get clarity about who we are here to serve and how we are here to serve them. I hope that that little inkling or that desire, that itch that might be inside that says you have to share your story, you are meant for more, you're here to inspire. I hope it brings you to this Blue Lotus program with us. If you'd like to join, it's completely free. All you need is a bottle of Blue Lotus from my suggested company, doTERRA. You can go and purchase that if you already have a doTERRA account, or you can reach out to me 
I'll help you get your wholesale account started so you can get your bottle of Blue Lotus. Then register through the link in my show notes so that you can be in the program, get my emails and the invitation to my online classroom in Facebook. It's going to be a beautiful time together. If you missed this one, I promise we will do it again. So go get registered and let's all step into the next chapter of our story. The chapter in which we share and we turn on the light for others so that they can find their way home.